What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for Sports. So, this is something that I heard a long time ago, but it was never confirmed. It was just a rumor. Vernon Maxwell finally admitted to this last year, but half-heartedly. But recently, on a podcast with Gilbert Arenas, No Chill with Gilbert Arenas, he finally admitted that it was entirely true. And what I'm talking about is there was a huge fight that occurred at halftime in the locker room, the Houston Rockets locker room in the road game against the Seattle Sonics where Vernon Maxwell said he almost stabbed Akeem the Dream Elijah one. Almost stabbed him had it not been for police intervening in the fight. Now, I don't know when this was. I don't think this was the 93 playoffs because by that time, I think Akeem had already truly converted to Islam. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, I think Akeem called himself a Muslim early on, but he wasn't really an Orthodox Muslim. I think it was, I think he converted to true Islam sometime around 91, maybe. So this might have been, I'm, I'm just going to go out and say, I'm not going on a limb and say this was 1991 season, okay? I'm going to go out on a limb and say this was the 1991 season. Maybe 91-92, but I think 90-91. I'm just going to go there. I think it was early. It was early on when they were playing, and they didn't really have a relationship. And back then, Akeem Olajuwon was not the same person, man. He, he was <laughs> a dude, you know, the regal, humble, quiet, you know, more mild-mannered version of Olajuwon. Nah, not before he truly converted and became serious about religion. He was a hot-headed motherfucker, okay? So if this sounds uncharacteristic of Elijah Wan, keep that in mind. So we already know how Vernon Maxwell was. So it was a game. They were playing against the Sonics. And the Sonics, have, as I've always said, are a team that they've struggled against. That was their kryptonite. And they were losing. And Vernon Maxwell wasn't playing well. He was very, very fucking frustrated. He was getting the ball, and he was cussing at his teammates and talking shit, and then he was spitting on the floor, you know, during uh, the end of the second half going to the locker room. He was spitting on the floor, you know, the floor that they walk up to to go to the locker room. So this is what happened. Quote, Elijah one allegedly caught wind of the remarks noting Maxwell, Maxwell's behavior and didn't take kindly to any of it to the point where the big man eventually slapped Maxwell in the face in the locker room. Maxwell then said he threw a chair at Elijah Warren and broke a lot of glass that shattered all over the locker room. He then picked up a big piece of the glass and said he intended to stab Elijah Warren before police intervened. So he said, quote, I said, God damn, this motherfucker slapped the shit out of me. That motherfucker hit me so hard, man, he knocked me out of the chair. I jumped up, grabbed my chair, and threw it at that motherfucker. Busted glass in the locker room. Everybody running out. Police come in with the guns drawn like, what the hell going on in here? Damn, they got the guns on me at a professional halftime, at a professional game. The fight ended, and Maxwell said he and Elijah Wan eventually constructed a far more cordial relationship as time went on. Maxwell said that Elijah Wan's conversion to Islam led to him becoming a better teammate. So after that, Akeem became a Muslim. He was so quiet, so humble. So he wanted me to become a Muslim. I couldn't do it, but he was a great teammate after that. So, yeah, it's interesting, man. But like I said, man, you know, this type of shit always happened back in the day, man. Man, if there was social media back then, psh, It's a, it's a hunky-dory love fest today. Man, there's so much shit that happened 
in locker rooms and in, in, in NBA, uh, Major League Baseball, uh, you know, football, definitely. Man, there's so much shit that we don't know that happened because they're, you know, there's supposed to be a sanctity among the players, man. You know what I'm saying? A brotherhood. That's why what, which one was it? Was it, uh, uh, what's the guy that didn't do? D'Angelo Russell. That's why, that's why what he did was so against cold. You know what I'm saying? And that's why what Antonio Brown did, you know, broadcasting live, what the fuck going on in the locker room, you don't do no shit like that, man. I don't want to play with a motherfucker like that, little snitch-ass nigga. But anyway, that's all I got to say about it. Tell me what you guys think.